Okay, there you go. All right, so welcome you guys. Now, this is a program and a system that I developed over the years called Biofield Clearing. And it really helps us create major life shifts in our life. Because as you all know, we're going through major transformation and change, especially this year. We're going through a huge ascension. Humanity is waking up in many ways. But at the same time, we're still clearing out all the old trapped energies in our biofield. So this is kind of an excellent way to bypass that. And you'll hear about it. And I'm going to have you experience it as well. So welcome. I'm glad you're here to join me. And as a bonus, I'm going to give you a special biofield clearing for everybody watching this, even if you're watching the replay. So it's really about what we as humanity need. What do we need to, to ascend? What do we need to clear and what do we need? So we can shift and really kind of give ourselves a total boost up. So stick around and you're going to see how this magically works. So, and today you're going to discover how you can help yourself as well as help others identify and clear out all kinds of old issues that cling to our DNA. And they usually work behind the scenes to limit our ability to create the life we truly desire. If you want a really healthy body, you know, sometimes chronic pains will disappear, chronic conditions. You know, if you want a beautiful relationship, if you want to have more happiness and joy, do you want more abundance in your life? So there's so many things that we can work on as well. So every single one of us is really being called to transform and evolve. We're really shifting to a whole new level of participating on this planet. It's really, we're coming into a higher dimension of being. And there's many dimensions. If you think about it, life on 3D planet Earth is the third dimension. It's physical density, our physical reality, what we see every day. You know, fourth dimension is our emotional reality. Fifth dimension is our spiritual reality. There's so many more dimensions above that as well. So what if you could identify and clear a number of blocks, limitations, subconscious beliefs, stuck energy that's really hidden in your energy field? What if you could clear them easily, safely, and completely? That's really what we're gonna talk about here tonight. And it's really quite exciting. Um, and I'll have a time for some questions and answers as well, so. And it's really about having success on your own terms. You decide. You know, if you wanna accelerate your clarity, uncover your true purpose, raise your frequency, release your limitations, manifest, increase your manifestation abilities, there's really no limit to what you can truly experience. What limits us are the things that are in our energy field that if you think about it, humanity has gone through many thousands of years of trauma. We've been a traumatized society. You know, our ancestors have been through, our family members have been through, females have been through, different races have been through, all kinds of, you know, war and famine and, you know, rape, all kinds of things for many, many years. And it creates a shock to the system, which is really the underlying cause of all illness. And when that happens, it gets stuck in our energy field. But if we or our ancestors or even us in a previous life have not dealt with it, you know, have not fully healed it, then it gets passed down to the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. But they come in as kind of subconscious influences, right? Hidden influences. And they keep showing up in our life as these filters that we see and create our life through. So let me explain more of this. So, Positive affirmations are wonderful, but it's not enough. You can't just like sugarcoat something, right? You guys know that. It's more than just affirmations. It's more than just clearing trapped emotions. It's more than just doing tapping. It's more than just having a positive mindset. All those things are wonderful and can be very helpful, but we have to go deeper. You know, and I've seen this over the years with my clients. I've been a naturopathic doctor for many years and it's like, oh, I keep hearing people's limitations, their fears, their blocks, you know, their stuck energy, their anxiety, their stress, their inherited influences. I'm an iridologist as well. So when I photograph the eyes, I see your eyes as your universal blueprint. And I can tell your inherited influences that you as a soul brought into this lifetime to heal. 
So wait till you see just how much can be hidden in our subconscious and unconscious field. If you never want to feel stuck again or have that same type of pattern that keeps repeating itself over and over again, then you need to find out how to clear them, right? So biofield clearing is something that actually got developed because years ago when I looked at, um, and I've had a ton of training over the years, but when I saw like the emotion code work, how many of you guys are familiar with that? Have you heard about that? Where you can identify? And I thought, well, this is really neat, but it's way too basic. To me, it was way too simple. It was one chart of emotions and one simple way to clear it. And I thought, I wasn't um, 100% impressed with it. But I've had a lot of other previous training. I just started developing all these other charts. And, you know, I've been using some of these for a long time. So I'll get more into that in just a little bit. But really every single one of us, what I realized, every person that comes onto this planet brings in their own soul's challenges for us to work through, to transform and heal and release. That's the way it is. That's how our soul kind of emerges and grows, right? We get to clear out the old negative influences, the old traumas, the old judgments, the inherited patterns. And it's really a greatly needed service for humanity at this time. So I'm actually thrilled that I can offer this and teach people how to do it as well. So I look at it as it's like clearing away layers of an onion. We're peeling off the outer layers. We're going deeper and deeper and deeper into the core release it for good. Once you get to that core, and I've done this over the years in the past, where it's like, once that core finally pops and releases, it's so light, you can practically just roll on the floor laughing, you know? So, and if you're a health practitioner, or an energy healer, or, you know, you might be a psychologist, anything, if you have clients that never seem to truly heal, you know that they have underlying issues that have to be identified and cleared. How many people now have autoimmune conditions? And they say, oh, well, you, you don't heal from that. You'll have it the rest of your life. Well, I call a little bit of BS on that because I don't believe that our magnificent divine body was designed to not be able to heal. You know, I really think that you have to get really down to what is appearing to attack yourself. The body's not designed to attack yourself. You know, we really have a magnificent creation going on. So, you know, helping other people as well might be something that you're drawn to do. Not everybody is, but this can help your practice tremendously as well as your personal life because it's so easy to do for yourself. And this goes really a whole lot deeper than you can imagine. What if you could easily and quickly identify what's behind every single illness, every chronic pain, every relationship challenge, financial blocks, self-sabotage, abuse, addictions, and more. I had a client I worked with this morning and she really wanted to heal childhood abuse. And that's all she had to tell me. And we went into the charts and I absolutely love it because it, it, it went right into every single thing. She thought, well, I must have a lot of shame and guilt I have to um, clear. And I thought, okay, you don't even have to decide that we're going to connect with your higher self, your guides, and they're going to lead us to what really needs to come up. And she was amazed. I was amazed at what was coming up. It happens every time. So we're going to do a six session package to go deeper and deeper. But what are you actually truly healing in this lifetime? So one of the things I've always said is our greatest and most difficult challenge in life when you turn it around, becomes your greatest gift. It's your virtue that you're mastering. And we're going to get into that tonight too. And it is not just about, are you taking enough vitamins or herbs? Are you getting the best CBD oil? Are you changing your diet drastically? Are you using the right affirmations? Yes, all those things help to support the physical body. But you know, we are, we are so much more than just physical beings. We have an emotional body, we have a mental body, we have a spiritual body as well, you know? So I've been in practice for kind of like 36 years, helping people with herbs and nutrition, supplements and diet and all that stuff. And I'm really stepping away from my practice because I'm really tired of just telling people what supplements they need. When I can see, you have to go deeper, you know? And sometimes, it can be amazing how things can shift so instantly. 
I call it that holy instant. You know, if you've ever read The Course in Miracles, I just love that. The holy instant, that state of grace when things can shift. So my name is Dr. Jane Smolnick. I am a naturopathic doctor, an iridologist, which is analysis of the eyes. I photograph the eyes with a digital camera and a microscope so I can read your soul's blueprint, basically, as well as your physical body, your inherited influences, emotions, and all that. And I've really worked in the holistic health field for well over 30 years. But what I've been most passionate about is exploring our metaphysical and consciousness abilities, expanding our awareness to unlimited realms, clearing out old beliefs, and how exactly we create our reality. So I actually started my training in 1994 for um, the International Avatar Course, which you may or may not know about. And I became a licensed avatar master. I became a licensed avatar wizard. I used to teach. This is a nine day intensive course. It was very expensive, but it really kind of blew me away. So I actually incorporate so much of what I've learned into this particular training. This is like a culmination of everything that I've learned. I went to school for intuitive diagnosis, deep energy healing work, you know, doctor of natural medicine. I'm a master herbalist. I used to have a 70 acre medicinal herb farm and I had not one, but two companies that made advanced herbal formulas for years for people as well as animals. And I used to teach an eight month certification course for herbalists as well. Um, and just many, many things. So really it's taking all that information and just come, you know, it's all about healing on a deeper level, which is the most exciting part. So I wanna ask you if you think, do you have any limits? You think we're kind of limited beings when in fact we are totally unlimited. I remember after going through like back in the nineties and just going through trainings and clearing all kinds of stuff. And what I used to say is, you know, even my degree of certainty in my unlimitedness is unlimited because I could go back and review and review and review. I reviewed the annual wizards course seven times, which is an annual international event. And every time I, you go further, and I realized there's no limit. We have no limits. The only limits we have are the ones we believe, you know, the limitations that we have on ourselves. And when we can recognize and clear or neutralize them, you just keep expanding further. And there's really no end. It's just like you really don't get to the end of the internet and say, oh, okay, I got it. I know everything, you know, it doesn't happen like that. It would be fun, wouldn't it? And maybe someday we will. <laughs> So I believe that each one of us comes into this lifetime, every single person on this planet with certain things that we choose on a soul level to work on and heal. I used to read it in the eyes basically as well. And things that have been clinging to our DNA and limiting our success in any area of our life. When I would do advanced energy work, I'd almost see it as the DNA had like these little black specks or debris that just needed to get cleared off. And often these things are buried in our subconscious field and they exert themselves by default as we go about trying to create our, our life, right? Trying to be happy and productive and a fulfilling life. But we have these filters that are like these clear filters that limit us. We might have a limiting belief. We might have self-doubt. You know, we might have, um, God, there's so many things here, insecurities. You know, we might have trauma in our energy field. And it could be from us in this lifetime. It could be from our ancestors. It could be from our family. And those two things are different. So our inherited influences, we inherit from our immediate family line, like our parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and it can go back many generations. But our ancestral patterns are much greater and deeper. These are things like our cultures have been through. You know, it doesn't matter if you're Chinese or Irish or German or Indian, if you're female or male or African-American, it doesn't matter. Every single culture has had all kinds of challenges, right? That's how we're evolving. So it's what is in your DNA. Do you know that we have 25,000 to 35,000 building blocks in our DNA? It's fascinating. And every cell in your body has the exact same DNA. Doesn't matter if it comes from the tip of your nose or your toenail. It holds the blueprint, both positive and negative, of your life and your patterns. And can we shift it? Can we clear it? Yes, we can. 
we can strengthen. And one of the things that came up that we're gonna to do tonight is activate some dormant strands. So let's see. So if you really look at life itself, at the top of the iceberg here, that's what we're conscious of. We're only conscious of about 10% of what's really going on behind the scenes in our 3D reality. But underneath it all, we have our subconscious mind, our unconscious mind. We have ancestral patterns, past life traumas. We have things from our Akashic records, our soul's records. We can have old traumas from earlier in this life. Prenatally, we can get traumas when we're in the womb, inherited, passed down. All these things kind of cling to our DNA. And we have positive things as well. We can have core fears, trapped emotions, inner challenges, forms of self-sabotage. We can have addictions that keep reappearing. You know, most of us are addicted to something, you know? I mean, I even look at sugar as one of the biggest addictions. <laughs> so we can also have blocks in our organs, tissues, glands, our chakras, our energy field. And do you know what? They're associated with every single disease. There's not one disease or ailment that manifests in the physical body that didn't start on a bigger level first on a soul level, a mental level, emotional level. And when it shows up in the physical body, it's almost like your soul's trying to clobber you over the head and say, hey, you have something to pay attention to here. And it is not just about, well, just give me one supplement that I can take. It's more than that. And our thinking ego mind has its fears, its doubts, its worries, its judgments, its limitations and more, which muddles up our view of reality as well as our ability to create clearly what we truly desire and how we manifest. We have all kinds of distress, right? One of the things I see 99.9% .9 of my clients over the years is everybody's stuck in one form of a stress response or another. It might be some emotional stress. It might be some financial stress. It might be adrenal fatigue. It might be adrenal exhaustion. There's different stages. It's not just one thing. I've been through it myself. I've gone through adrenal fatigue, built myself up, and I've been through adrenal exhaustion, built myself up again. It's like, okay, got it. <laughs> so here's an example. Have you ever tried to create a truly successful and abundant path in your work life, following your passion, only to discover that there's underlying unconscious beliefs, that maybe you're not good enough, maybe you're not deserving enough, maybe you have to be perfect, Maybe you're not respected enough. Maybe you don't know enough. You know, maybe you're not smart enough. I know for me, you know, as a young kid and even a teenager, I knew as a teenager that I wanted to teach people about all the healing qualities of nature. And I grew up in New York and I had no clue what herbs were. I never even heard about chiropractors or anything, but I just knew that. And I had no idea how, but I kind of did it. And what I kept finding and I would follow my passion and I knew when I was about 21 that I wanted to learn iridology I had somebody told me about it. I said I want to know that but I wasn't ready to learn it then I learned it later and then I realized oh I've done this in a previous life I just needed to be reminded you know but what I kept finding was I kept hitting these limiting beliefs we could even have blocked energy in our chakras imbalances you know, so perhaps there's a block in the root chakra or your heart chakra or your ability to receive. I know it was a real challenge for me and it was handed down from many generations of struggles in my family. So, and I always say, and I'll see it sometimes in the eyes too. It's like, when you bring in lots of things to transform in this lifetime, it's like, tag, you're it. Every family has at least one healer in it. You know, so when you're here with what's kind of called a weaker constitution, all these genetic weaknesses or influences, it's like you're just here to transform that. And sometimes what happens very often, I should say, is those with a weaker constitution, including kids with ADD, is it's like those areas need more nutrients. It needs more love and support, you know, more loving energy around it. And I used to say like, sometimes your soul will kind of clobber you over the head at a young age and say, hey, you have very important work to do in this lifetime. You have to take extra good care of yourself. You can't deal with sugar and junk food and lower vibrating stuff. Because when you have those weaker influences that need to be healed, they need higher vibrational stuff to help them heal, right? 
funny why that's a little bit of a side note, but it's really how it works. So no matter how passionate I was about creating the life of my dreams, I was like, I don't know, many of you might relate to that too. It was like, I was, we had, I had a family of six kids and I was the one that I had to go off and just follow my own path. And my family thought I was nuts, you know? It was like, I moved to Vermont. I had the 70 acre farm and I started growing all these herbs and studying everything and making all these flower essences and working with my guides and teaching stuff and my family. My, I remember my father coming up one time and visiting and I built this passive solar building on the farm for my herb business. And, and I was doing all this wonderful stuff. I was even like homeschooling my kids when they were teenagers. And my father came up one time. He's like, what happened to you? He's like, you were the smart one in the family. <laughs> I thought you were going to make something of yourself. And I thought, I thought I was, you know, but the interesting thing is I kept feeling like I was tethered. Like no matter how much I was trying to create my dreams and my passions, I always felt like I was hitting a glass ceiling. I could never make that much money. I didn't feel like I deserved it. You know, maybe it wasn't what, um, and this was before even herbal medicine was popular. I, I remember the day it became popular in 1996. This was before that when I started my herb farm. But I really felt like I was caught in this loop. Like, how can I shift? How can I make my life better? How can I change? So I started studying a lot of things. And I believe that every single person on this planet has some things to release, some negative influences that limit us. And there can be many layers of fears and doubts and circumstances and traumas and beliefs, cultural traumas that follow us around. And if they're not truly healed, they're waiting for that miracle of release and healing. When you heal it for yourself, you heal it for all previous generations as well as future generations, even your children that are here now and grandchildren. We are now in a time of rapid expansion and growth as we're being called to achieve increasingly higher states of greater awareness and sensitivity, right? But yet we have these things that will limit us. So my guides recently made it very clear to me that I needed to teach this to other practitioners too, so they can offer it. And I often get downloads or information in my sleep and I'm like, oh my God, that's a brilliant idea. I never thought of that. <laughs> I was just kind of using this stuff for myself. So they really helped me to fine tune this course to make it available to anyone that wants to learn it, whether for your personal use, or I also certify practitioners so they can also offer it. And how do we do it? So first we ask people like, what are your three main areas of concern? It could be a health issue, a chronic pain, relationship issues, financial challenges, self-sabotage, insomnia, abuse, anxiety, anything whatsoever. I've had people ask me, I want to know what my true purpose is. Okay, let's find out what's getting, getting in your way. Or, you know, so many different things. And everyone's entirely different. And we have more than just a couple of things to heal, you know. But this is where we start. And then, having your permission. When I went to school years ago for intuitive diagnosis, one of the things I found was as long as we knew someone's name, their age and their location on the planet. What town do they live in? We could call up their energy field in front of us with their permission. <clears throat> and I could read their energy body, their emotional body, their physical body, their spiritual body. This is so much simpler than that. So first we offer a simple prayer to connect with their permission, with, their, with the divine, with their higher self, their own inner guidance system, their innate intelligence. We call in their master's guides, teachers and loved ones to assist. <clears throat> and this can be done with anyone anywhere in the world. And then we ask just very specific questions. I have a program and these little cheat sheets so you know exactly what to ask and where to go. <clears throat> and then we use the first 12 charts. In, in the regular course, there's 18 charts. We now have an advanced course too. That's like, you're gonna get a taste of that tonight. So we use the 12 charts to quickly and easily identify what is holding you back and how far back does it go? What realm did it come from? It can be a trauma from this lifetime and we can identify basically what age it occurred. It can be something that happened prenatally, like to your mother when you were in the womb and that got trapped in your energy field. It can be inherited from the time you were born. It can be inherited from many generations back. It can be an ancestral pattern. It can be something from the past life. 
It can be from a parallel plane even, you know, but all these things can be there. They're unresolved past life issues that still haven't been completed. And why not just clear them out? So here are the names of some of the charts. Okay, we have a chart for emotional challenges. There's a whole variety of things. There's a list of core fears. Do you have a core fear that needs to be released? Inner challenges. Do you have an inner challenge? We had an inner challenge that comes up tonight on what we need to ascend. There's a chart for limiting beliefs that might be trapping you. We all have a number of limiting beliefs, let me tell you. And there's a chart to find out what realm did it come from? Was it this life, a previous life, your ancestors, your Akashic records, where did it come from? We can pinpoint it. Is it a particular archetype that needs to be released? Is there a blockage in the body? Do you have a blockage to self-empowerment? Are there relationship challenges? Is there stuck energy in the chakras? Do you have any addictions that need to be released? Any identities that need to be released? Basically, we use a bio tensor. I don't know if you can see this, but it's, you can use a pendulum as well. And I just teach people and it'll quickly go to yes and no as we go down the charts. You don't even have to be intuitive. You just have to ask and let the guides show you. And it's like, okay, this is what's showing up. <laughs> it's an amazing process. And then once identified, you know, we have a little discussion about it. Like, does this make sense to you? And some, it's like, oh, yes. Oh, my God, that's great, right? Then we use ancient Egyptian healing pendulums that are based on sacred geometry. And I teach a specific technique to create a powerful magnetic vortex to go down deep into the energy field to clear that something out from where it was first created, releasing it from all time, space, and dimensions. And we clear a number of things very quickly. This particular pendulum here is called the Mer Isis. And I just love it. It's actually quite, quite heavy too. So when you're creating a vortex, it really, you can feel the energy just pulling. But that very top, that small little top head goes into the subconscious field. The next one down goes into the unconscious field. There is um, the three amplifying rings amplify the energy. And as we go down, then there's a bowl that scoops the energy up and we pull it all out. It's really quite neat. And they've been used for thousands of years. Who knew, right? And then once everything is cleared, we might go through and clear a dozen different things related to a particular topic, right? And then you have all this open space that's been neutralized. It's not like we're clearing your memory. We're neutralizing any reaction to the event. And then once everything is cleared, we have another six charts to identify and really infuse the positive influences. Like what empowering beliefs are helpful for you? What do you need for your inner healing? What virtues are you here to master? What are your true gifts? What do you need to master for your infinite beingness? And we use a special healing spin and we use a special healing pendulum for that too. <clears throat> so this is the name of the inner healing charts. What is needed to improve my life? What empowering beliefs might be beneficial? What areas you might need to explore for self-empowerment? It doesn't mean every single one of these is gonna come up for you, but every single one of us has at least one or two virtues that we're here to master. And these are the virtues that are trying to emerge from our soul, right? When you turn that difficulty around, there's a virtue there. What do you need to master for your infinite beingness? And what are your keys to inner healing? We have 21 inner healing keys that I share with you because everyone, their guides will lead us to one of the keys that are going to be helpful and specific. So you guys are going to get a taste of this tonight because I do have down here a particular virtue that you need to master for infinite beingness and what your inner healing key is based on what do we need for us to ascend for all of us as a collective. I mean, we often do it individually, but we can also do it collectively. And then this particular pendulum is called the golden hue. And this is also a pretty heavy pendulum. This one is one of the most advanced pendulums that um, emanates divine golden light. It's much, much higher than white light or colored light, rainbow light it really brings in the energy of the divine light. It's known, known that it is the highest aspect of your true self with the full expression and alignment with your inner soul. So we use that to infuse you 
with rich fulfillment and true and lasting healing based on what it is that you're bringing into your energy system. We all have these things. Is this for everyone? Maybe, maybe not. I think everyone could use it, but people who really want to truly discover the depth and width of their innate skills and who they truly are, they're the ones who are really ready to do this. You guys are showing up because you're drawn to it for some reason, you're ready for it. Everyone can learn more about how to use their consciousness abilities, how they work and use them to your advantage. You can learn the magic of connecting to the quantum field of source energy. And I'm sure you all do all the time. Maybe not all the time, but most of the time until we get pulled off center by our fears and our doubts and our desires and our resistances and our judgments, you see? But once we're aligned with who we truly are in our higher self, that's where the magic comes in. So if you're ready, then I invite you to participate. You might want to work on this course for your own true evolvement. And there's nothing else you need to prepare for. If you want to transcend your limits, only you can decide how far you will go. You've already been expanding your awareness as you grow through life, right? But you can, some people kind of get into a plateau and stay there for quite a while too. But you can watch your life blossom as you experience more insights, more power, more alignment, more love, more clarity more divinity, more peace. So if you're ready to go much further in your life, so sometimes people will say, oh, this gives me chills, you know? And does it seem like something that you're drawn to? So you may wanna let me know. So I promised that we would do a clearing tonight. So I'm gonna offer you guys a gift of a clearing around our inner awakening issues. And it's not about having the best affirmations, but let's identify what's underneath it for everyone on this webinar, let's see what is blocking. And I'm gonna test and clear several issues for the group. Now, one of the things that I did, okay, let's stop for a moment. What I'm gonna do for a moment here, if I can, is stop my screen share so you can see me, okay? Now, just before we started, I asked for everyone who joins us tonight, what is needed for our ascension? as a collective group for all of us. So you might have your own personal things that have to get cleared personally, but as a group, this is what we all need to work on. And I was kind of amazed at what showed up. So the first one that showed up is, there's an inner challenge from that particular chart of not being authentic. We're not being authentic with who we truly are. We are a divine, passionate, unlimited being right? Filled with love, wisdom. And we don't always live up to that, right? So let's clear not being authentic. Is that okay with you guys? If I have your permission, give me a thumbs up. If for any reason you don't want to participate and you just want to watch, that's totally fine. You can even just cross your hands over your heart and that'll block the energy, even if you just do it for a minute. But you don't, if you want to, enjoy it, okay? I want to do a real quick little prayer just to kind of connect with all of us okay and then we'll go through and do several things we're going to clear and then we're going to infuse for you guys are you good okay so let's just take a deep breath and just center ourselves releasing any stress any tension and relax i now offer myself in gratitude and service as i call in and acknowledge the great divine director lord metatron the goddess of liberty the beings of light the ascended masters all guides, angels, and elementals to be present here with us today. I ask my higher self to stay present, to assist me in being in my 5D awareness. I ask God, Holy Source, if he or she will have a shield of love and truth around me permanently so that only God's love and truth exists between you and me. I now invite the masters, guides, teachers, and loved ones of everyone present here today to channel through me out of the realms of 100% God light to say whatever they wish to assist and direct this healing in every way possible. And we thank you for your love, support, compassion, and assistance. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna clear that inner challenge of not being totally authentic with who we are. And you might be very authentic, but there still might be, it's so funny, we can have, we can release like 90% of stuff. We can release 99% of stuff. And there's still that one little itsy bitsy thing that gets in our way. 
right? That can keep us down. It's like, let's just clear whatever needs to happen. All right, so if you want to, you can either just watch or you can close your eyes and feel into the energy as I create this powerful magnetic vortex to go down deep into your energy field, to draw out, tag, and neutralize any energy around not being authentic, any energy that keeps us from being our authentic true self. Let's clear it from every memory, every event, all time, all patterns, all circumstances, going all the way down to the core, like a little tornado vortex where this was first created for you. I'm going to kind of cut the tap root. And now let's lift up and clear this energy out of your energy field, your organs, tissues, glands, cells, meridians, your mental and emotional body, your energy field, as well as your DNA. Let's just neutralize that frequency, the pattern and energy from all time, all space and all dimensions, allowing it to clear for your highest good, easily, safely, gently and completely. Because we are grateful. Ah, so just take a breath and let that release. Now, the next thing that came up is what do we need to clear? We need to release some negative energy around abuse and negativity that came from our ancestral patterns. So we all, as humanity, have some negativity from abuse and negative things from our ancestors. Right? If you want to release it, then just give permission to say, yes, let's release it. I'm going to do this. We're going to do a release. Okay, cutting the cords and the energies for this. Okay. Take a breath, close your eyes, fill into the energy as we create this powerful magnetic vortex. Go into your energy field, into all time, space, dimensions, all layers. Cut and clear all cords and all negativity, all toxic energy related to abuse, related, related to negativity. Anything related to this, let's clear it from our ancestors, from ourselves, from our life. Allow it to come forth and be released to the light. Releasing them now for your highest good as we allow them to clear completely going back to the light. Allowing all energies related to this to be cleared and released right now. Easily, safely, gently, and completely. And we allow this process to continue until it's absolutely complete for everyone here. And we're grateful for that release. Just shifting it. It's like we're clearing it off the DNA. All right. Take a breath and let those energies just release. They're being neutralized. Okay. Now, the next thing that shows up when we ask what is needed for our ascension is to release and deactivate all insecurities and self-doubt. Do we have any insecurities and self-doubt? We do. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> so let's clear that. Let's neutralize that. All right. So you might want to just close your eyes and feel into that energy as we now create this powerful multidimensional vortex. This one's called the Metatron spin. Go into your energy field, into all time, all space, all dimensions, all layers, and all levels to release and deactivate all insecurities. Release and deactivate all self-doubt. Release and deactivate all energies related to this right now for everyone here. Just releasing them now, going back into the light, being released for your highest good. We allow them to be cleared and deactivated right now, falling away easily, safely, gently, and completely. We allow this process to continue until it's absolutely complete for everyone here. And for this, we are truly grateful. Thank you. And now we let it calibrate. Okay, lock that. In. Take a breath and let that one go. Okay, the next one that came up is to clear the energies from our limbic system, our emotional system. We all have cellular memories, right? It's in our cells, in our energy field. 
you know, from our life, from our ancestors, all kinds of emotional stuff, stresses, traumas, anxiety, fears. Let's just clear and neutralize so that they don't keep us down so we can ascend to a higher state of being, okay? So this one is, we're gonna clear the energies from the limbic system and the emotional center. Okay. So take a breath, feel into it. As we create this powerful multi-dimensional vortex, it's right in your toroidal field, going into your energy field, into all time, all space, all dimensions, all layers, cutting and clearing all cords and all toxic energy. May all the emotionals Emotions clear from our limbic center, limbic system and our emotional center. Anything that no longer serves us, any old energies, toxic energies, old emotions, trapped emotions, may they all come forth and be released to the light. Releasing them now for your highest good as we allow them to clear completely going back to the light. Allowing all energies related to this to be cleared and released easily, safely and comfortably. We allow this to continue until it's absolutely clear for every one of us here. For this we are grateful. Thank you for your assistance. Yes. Okay. All right. Take a breath. Allow that to release. Now, the next thing when I ask for collectively for our group, what is needed for our ascension? And what I got was to rebuild and strengthen the entire nervous system. Okay, if you think of the nervous system, nerves are everywhere in your body. And it's actually related to your seventh chakra, which is our connection to our higher self and our divine source. And how many of us have stress in our nervous system? When we have adrenal stress, when we have anxiety, when we have PTSD and all this stuff, our nervous system gets irritated. And it's like, ah, kind of short circuiting and it kind of short circuits our connection to our higher self, right? Our divine source. So as we just rebuild and strengthen our nervous system, this can help us all heal. And one of the things I like to look at while I'm doing this, and I'm going to use a different pendulum. I'm getting an itchy nose for some reason. So one of the things I like to think about when you're doing this is picture opening up your crown chakra and just all you have to do is say open my crown and open up the energy of divine golden light from your divine source and allow it to pour in this beautiful golden energy that almost feels like honey going over and soothing your entire nervous system just coating it and soothing it and now we're going to use this powerful multi-dimensional energy field for everyone here to rebuild and strengthen your entire nervous system. Connect the nerves, build the nerves, strengthen the nerves, restoring you now with perfect healthy cells, renewed energy and vitality, bringing everything back into balance, knowing your magnificent body has complete memory and divine programming for this healthy restored state. The body knows exactly what to do. We increase and improve everything associated with this function here and now, and I'm truly grateful for this capability. Bring it in. I'm gonna lock it in. Can you see how each of these things is totally related to our ability to lighten up and ascend to a higher state of being, a higher vibration, you know? It's something that we can all relate to as humans. You know, that brings us unity when we connect with each other. We realize, you know what? We all have the same thing going on underneath it all. You know, we have some differences as well, but there's a lot that we do have that's similar, which is what we're working on here. Now, the next thing when I asked what is needed for our ascension as our collective here, and it said to activate and reset dormant DNA strands. Would you guys like that? I'm going to use this particular function. So we're going to activate and reset dormant DNA. So if you want to, just close your eyes, feel into the energy. 
And once again, we're going to create this powerful multidimensional vortex in your energy field for everyone here to activate and reset your DNA. Any dormant DNA strands, allow them to be reactivated, to be reset, to be strengthened, to come back online, to strengthen your innate ability to utilize these functions effortlessly and easily, knowing it's your divine right and the highest aspect of your true self in alignment with your inner soul. May this process continue to expand easily and comfortably for you, bringing you great fulfillment and capabilities. For this, we are truly grateful. Thank you. I'm going to lock that in. Ah, so just take that in. Feel the shift. Feel the energy. Mm. And now we get to a couple of little positive things since we cleared some, actually some big things, okay? We kind of did a little bit of a super clearing. And what came up when I asked what is needed for our ascension? And when I asked, are there any virtues that are needed for this particular collective? And it said, yes, the virtue of deep trust. And it made me smile because I've always said, you know, working with clients over the years, one of the biggest virtues that we all are here to learn is deep trust, which is in the center of our solar plexus. It is related to our adrenals, our stomach. You know, if you think about so many of us are under stress, right? And we have been under stress. It's not just from 2020, let me tell you. You know, we've had all kinds of stressors from toxins and EMFs and finances and emotions and struggles and all kinds of stuff, right? But we have fear, we have stress. And underneath all fear is a belief that what if I can't handle it? But the opposite of that, that's trying to emerge when you turn that around is what if you had deep trust? And what does deep trust look like? It's how deeply can you trust yourself? How deeply can you trust your instincts, your intuition? How deeply can you trust the people closest to you? How deeply can you trust that you have a purpose here? You have gifts and talents to offer. How deeply can you trust that you will receive back everything you need to live, grow, heal, and prosper? How deeply can you trust nature? How deeply can you trust your environment? How deeply can you trust your government? How deeply can you trust your society? How deeply can you trust your higher self? How deeply can you trust you're supported by a divine source? How deeply can you trust, right? That's where true healing comes in. So let's infuse this into our energy field. You ready for that? That's something that's extremely helpful. All right. Now we're going to bring in, we're going to infuse your energy field for everyone here with this beautiful, protective, loving, balancing, supportive, and healing energy of the divine golden light, bringing in the energy of deep inner trust, knowing it's right in the core, in the center of your being, knowing that it is the highest aspect of your true self. It's the full expression and alignment with your inner soul as it releases anything that no longer serves you, it fills you now with rich fulfillment, true and lasting healing and inner joy into your life in every way, every single day. And for this, we are truly grateful. Thank you. Lock it in. You know, and that can be something we're all being called, we're being challenged on this, this year, right? And it's really about how deeply can you trust that everything is evolving absolutely perfectly. Everything's coming into the light to be healed absolutely perfectly. The universe continues to expand in its massive, infinite way without us trying to stop it, control it, limit it, judge it, you know? It's like just allowing it to unfold. And this sometimes... I used to have this really great um, postcard on my desk when I had my office up in Vermont. And it said, 
Good morning, this is God. I will be taking care of absolutely everything today and I will not need your help. So have a good day. And I just love that because we forget. We try to control things. You know, we try, okay, I want to feel comfortable. I have to control things to feel comfortable. But deep trust is I allow life to unfold in its, all of its magnificence. You know, having love and compassion in my heart, knowing everything's unfolding perfectly. Whether I understand it or not, doesn't matter. And there's no need to judge and blame other people, right? All right, we're almost done here. The next thing was, I asked, was there anything we needed to master for our infinite beingness? And it said, yes. And what came up was seeing the self as divine. I thought, perfect. That's what we need to ascend, correct? So if you're ready, let's infuse this in your energy field. All right. So bring in this beautiful energy of divine golden light, the protective, loving, balancing, healing energy of the divine, bringing it into your energy field, seeing yourself as one with the divine. You are created from the divine. You are connected to the divine. The divine is present in every single cell of your body, every single cell or knowingness in your consciousness. And knowing that that is the highest aspect of your true self, the full expression and alignment with your inner soul as it releases anything that no longer serves you and fills you now with rich fulfillment, true and lasting healing, infinite joy and love into your life in every way, every single day, in one with the divine. And for this, we are truly grateful. Thank you so much. Lock that in. Oh, okay. So take a breath, let that go. And there was just one thing is, and we always end with, are there any particular inner healing keys that would be beneficial for you right now? And it said, yes. The one thing that came up was, it's called blessing the past and creating a new vision for your future. So I wanna tell you what this is, okay? You can place your hands together if you want to, in prayer position, put them on your heart, place them outwards, whatever. Recognize, accept, and appreciate everything about your past and the path that it has led you to being here right now. Bless your past, bless your journey, bless your ancestors, bless your mistakes, along with your accomplishments, along with your joys, and release them now to the past and close the door. If you want to, you can picture yourself turning around or just looking forward to your future and create the highest vision of yourself and your life. Be very clear with your intentions, your desires, your goals, your purpose. Bless and welcome, I bless my future, I welcome my future. I invite into full expression and creation this beautiful vision. Write it down using clarity, joyful emotions, a clear vision, and a picture of it. You might even picture some beautiful music that goes with it. It's like creating your own mind movie. It's a picture of your future as a divine creative being that you are choosing. What are we choosing as we ascend as humanity on this planet for our future? We wanna see a place of peace. Do we wanna see a place of compassion for all humanity? friendship and love, sharing, taking care of each other? Do we want to see an earth that is honored, nature that's honored, clean and vibrant, giving us beautiful food, you know, beautiful connections with other people from all cultures all over the planet, where there's no such thing as even the thought of war. You know, we just want whatever it is, and for your particular future, just be clear on what you would like to experience. Now create that for yourself. So, does anybody want to share anything before I finish up the rest of it? Anything that you felt or experienced or, or not is totally okay. Guys are still processing, which is great. 
I'm going to recommend that you drink plenty of water. Okay. And actually, I usually, I usually like to tell people to drink water before because when your electrical system is hydrated well, the energy is going to work much better instead of being dehydrated. Be gentle with yourself over the next few days because your body's recalibrating. Eat good, wholesome food. You know, don't eat some junk food and sugar. Try to avoid alcohol right away because you're really recalibrating your energy field right now. You don't want to bring it back down. You can use some essential oils. They're very high frequency. You might want to meditate, go out in nature, stretch or exercise gently, get plenty of rest. You might be tired because you're kind of integrating some of this and allow yourself to do that. Some of the shifts can be subtle that you may not notice, but some can be not so subtle. It's like, whoa, that's a difference. So just be aware, okay? Now I am gonna go back to sharing my screen and just finish up this little presentation because I wanna tell you. Come on, there it is, okay. So we just did a little clearing, right? You guys were okay with that? You gonna let me go? Okay. You may not, may not feel it right away. Hopefully it made sense to you and you can identify with it. Feel free to comment if you'd like. And we can just, add some positive energy, which we did into that space. So if you want to know how you can do this, it's really powerful, sacred work. You can easily do it for yourself anytime, your friends or your family, or you can get certified to do it for others. And I want to tell you about what I'm offering right now, because um, this is really a special. This is an online course that I've gone through tr eight different, um, their masterclass series is what I call them. For eight weeks, it's two hours once a week on Tuesday evenings. And it includes all the instructions, the PDFs, you get the charts, the forms, the videos, everything you need to master this for yourself. There's only two particular tools that you do need, and they're both under $40 each. You know, you can use a biotensor, you can use um, a particular pendulum, and my students get a discount on them as well. So if it's something you're drawn to, that's great. Um, or you might just want to have personal sessions for yourself. So we can have, we have questions and answers for every single session when we do the masterclass series. I do the training. And then I also will do live sessions personally one-on-one -on -one with somebody in the class every time. So you see how it's different every time for every person. You get the replays in case you miss it or you want to review it. You get your manual, charts, forms, everything you absolutely need, which is really fun. And you get to work with each other as well to practice. So just about any health practitioner, anyone that's interested in energy healing work, this can be a powerful part of your toolbox. I have so many people that are Akashic record readers, that are naturopathic doctors, a sound healing therapists from Singapore that's done it. I've had people from different countries. Um, psychotherapist, I have some psychics that have done this, and I also have a lady that's an actor, and just different people that just want to use it for their personal use, which is totally okay, you know, so, and I know that what we are doing helps you to achieve a higher, lighter, more joy-filled, easier life, faster than you could do in years of trying to change things, because you can quickly just go to the charts and ask, connect with your heart, and ask, what's going on here? Whenever something comes up for me, I'll still go to the chart and say, okay, what is going on here that needs to get cleared? Because we have different layers and levels of things. Okay, so you can use it for your personal life, life very easily. Either way, it's totally invaluable. So if people like to use it for their personal use, that's great. You get a certificate of completion and everyone's invited to join. I do have a private Facebook group for all the biofield clearing students, grads, practitioners. We have a monthly Zoom meeting, which we're having actually, it's the third Monday of every month, which is coming up next Monday, which is the solstice, no, the equinox, I mean. Um, and that's really fun because we really get to share all kinds of great stuff. And you can review the trainings anytime with the replays as well. If you wanna be a certified practitioner, you're welcome to do that too. And what you'll do is you'll work with three other students giving and receiving a session once you learn how to do it as well as clients. You do 12 sessions all together, three with other students, eight with other clients, and then one with me to demonstrate that, yes, I know how to do this. 
And then there's a very simple online multi-question or whatever, multiple choice exam that's very easy. That's just a formality. But then you get a certificate as a certified practitioner and you can actually be listed on our website and you can offer it to people. Okay. So here's what a few people have said. Dr. Jane Smolik was nothing short of profound. When the guides, angels, masters, and even past relatives came forward, I could feel a surge of energy. Um, unconditional love was so very present. There was no doubt in my analytical mind that this was very, very real. I learned a number of things that I needed to hear to progress in my path of spiritual evolution. Boy, they do come in. And the cool thing is the charts will lead you to what it is. Um, I've done emotional release, intuitive healing with others, but never got the results that I have with Dr. Jane. She was spot on with the ages in which I experienced shock or trauma without me telling her. She's very compassionate in the clearing process she used made me feel like a huge weight was lifted from me. I feel better emotionally than I have for years, maybe even decades. I highly recommend this process to anyone that's trying to change themselves or their life. What a wonderful experience I had with Jane. We dove into my past deeply and she guided me toward healing. We've worked on clearing out childhood pain in order to make space for my partner and I to bring a child into the world. He wanted to have a baby and she was scared to death, didn't want anything to do with it. That month we conceived our first child and I walked into the new light and healing. Thank you, Jane, for your work in this world. It's truly a gift. I encourage anyone searching for clarity, healing and guidance place their trust in this lovely woman. That was so nice. She was thrilled when we got down to what was really blocking her fear. Emotions are deep seated and in layers, but this treatment allows the mind to rest and the body to answer questions that Dr. Smolnik asks. The body lets it be known where healing needs to occur. And Dr. Smolnik simply takes care of it with this wonderful healing modality. I'm in awe have experienced instant life shifts and getting unstuck in places where I've been stuck all my life. Thank you so much. And I did have some experience with energetic healing in the past, but I could not imagine the complexity and profoundness of this biofield clearance technique. We were able to go so deep and identify all the blockages on my physical, mental, and emotional bodies. We were able to find and heal negative beliefs and thought patterns from my childhood, ancestors, and past lives. After we released all the blockages, limiting beliefs, and emotional trauma from my chakras, I immediately felt so good and relieved. And just a few days after the session, I noticed that my negative thoughts changed to positive. I highly recommend Jane and her method for everyone who wants to change their life by eliminating beliefs, negative patterns, toxic, toxic attachments, fears, and insecurities. Thank you. Um, this lady is, she became one of my certified practitioners after she experienced it. So, and I just wanted to see I thought I had, did Linda join us? Okay. So what does it cost? What's your investment? So I've actually spent a fortune over the last 30 years taking numerous courses and diving deep into discovering our creative abilities. One course I did back in 1990, that Avatar course was $2,295 for a one week course that really shifted my life. And within five years, my life shot up like a rocket. And then I thought, I have to teach this. So I went back and spent another 3000 on the master level so I could be licensed to teach it. And then I went on to the higher levels, which was $7,500 for the more advanced levels, as well as other trainings, like my intuitive diagnosis and energy healing work was $6,000. And I even reviewed these. Plus, of course, you have travel expenses, hotels, food, time off of work, all that stuff. Just exploring ways to expand my awareness and shift my life. I was that determined. And I loved being able to teach people and help people with things. And this doesn't have anything to do with even my naturopathic training. And what happened was they all had value. They all helped. But I felt like they all fell short. This one worked on beliefs. This one worked on emotions. This one worked on this. So instead of paying the many tens of thousands of dollars and spending years trying to discover how to change your life, I developed this system with these charts to help others more deeply and more effectively. And you don't have to work for decades anymore. It's happening very quickly. So I can teach you how to master this powerful system and it's really fun. 
You can do this very easily at a very reasonable cost. So where you can afford, can you afford to really have your life continue to go the way it is? Or do you want to create bigger changes, you know, more joy, more abundance, more health, you know, boy, we can restore our health amaz amazingly. So how long have you been working on trying to shift things? And if you're ready to truly heal and shift your health, you can do that. So what you get is the eight weekly master course series at two hours long. It's from seven to 9 p.m. starting January 5th for two hours every week. You get all the PDF, the manuals, the instructions, the charts, the keys to inner healing, session forms, informed consent form and feedback forms. You get a replay of all the videos, a private Facebook group, certification of mastery or just a completion marketing materials listed on the website. Plus you can receive at least three sessions for yourself. And a lot of these courses can go for an awful lot of money, but right now I have it as $777 for the entire program, including certification. But I have an early bird special until December 28th where it's only 597. And you can even break that into two payments if you want to, but that's really not bad considering everything that you're getting. And the fact is, it's not gonna be that low a price again. I've already taught a number of courses since for a little over a year now. And I kind of kept it very reasonable for this whole year and it's gonna go up to the regular 777 um, after this. So if you're interested, it's something you're welcome to do. If not, then I also have another kind of gift for you too. So the next course starts January 5th, like I said, for eight weeks. I accept a limited number of students and you might have to wait till the following one in the spring if you don't jump on board. But still, there's plenty of room here. If you're interested, you can always go to my website, which is biofieldclearing.com and check out the details. I still have some videos. There's a course registration on there. But as a bonus, you, you can also get $50 off a personal session with me one-on-one. -on -one. It's about a 90-minute session. We can do it by phone or we can do it by Zoom, either way. So normally I charge $179 for a session. So you can get it now for $129. Um, and you're welcome to do that. If you want to book an appointment, if you go to my regular website, which is ultimatehealing.com, you can book in your time slot or you can always give me a call or an email. And I'm happy to do that. I do offer um, kind of discount on blocks of sessions, like a three session package is, uh, I forget what the discount is. I think instead of, it's $20 off per set, instead of 179, it's 159 per session. If you get a six section sec session package, it is 139 per you get $40 off per session. So sometimes I do have people that will book um, after their first session, especially they're like, okay, I wanna do, and we might wait every couple of weeks so you have time to integrate it. But that's entirely up to you. Or sometimes people will just call when they need it, which is totally okay. So if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer questions. You can either ask them now, you can unmute yourself, or if you want, you can even email me or call me personally. And that's totally okay as well. Or you can write something in the chat box as well. I think I have, let's see if I can get the chat. During the first unwinding, I felt strong, clear shifts in my energetic core. That's what Kimberly said. Thanks, Kimberly. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Good. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Okay. So let me um, finish this up. And I just want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope this was helpful and beneficial for you. I'm honored to get to share this with you. And I'm grateful to my inner guides who have assisted me with this development. It's really the accumulation of my life's work. And it's a wonderful service for humanity. And actually recently, I developed the advanced course, which is just a shorter version. And we have some very powerful charts and a different technique, which you experienced some of that tonight as well. So thank you. See. Okay. Amazing. Thank you, Alana. I appreciate it. So let me um, again, biofieldclearing.com, or if you want to call me, it's 828 777 Jane. And I'm going to stop the screen share there. So thank you guys for being here.
Jane, I have a question. Sure. Um, uh, by the way, you have such a soothing voice. I was, uh, <laughs> I was actually going, I went into a really meditative state as you were talking. Uh, but I, but I do okay. notice, um, I do notice a more lightness of being, and I, and I do meditate on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, when, when you talk, because um, I know right now there's a lot of talk about this big shift that we're doing on the 21st. Mm -hmm. um, is um, are, are we like? Is this? Uh, and even as you're clearing right now, are we? Are we are we talking about? Um, and I don't know if it's got to do with this, but I, as you're clearing our energy here, is this uh, is this something that's happening on a bigger scale right now in the world? Is that like uh, uh, I know you and I and I felt the energy shifting within me as, as, as you were talking mm -hmm. and what you do. Yeah. Is, is that is that what we're going through right now? Is there is there a clearing on a on a, on a more of a global? There scale? is. There is, because like I said, um, we are going into higher and higher frequencies of being, right? And even the earth is going into a higher frequency. You know, the Schumann wave is actually increasing. So what happens, it's like when you have a particular bandwidth, like we're in this particular frequency, which is like 3D physical reality. And we have all kinds of struggles and challenges and stuff that have been going on for a long time. And now it's like, whoop, we're raising the channel here. We're going up to a higher frequency and all these things can, are fighting to survive and sense they can no longer stay all these negative influences but they're showing themselves they're coming up very easily and for some people it's a real struggle and challenge and what we're going to see and i guarantee you in the next few months or so we're going to see a lot of dark influences that have been operating behind the scenes on this planet that are really coming into the light to be released and healed you know, and that happens for us on a personal level, on a collective level as a group, even a family, as well as humanity itself. So it depends on what our intention is when we do a session. If we're doing a session on your personal issues, then it's about you personally. For this tonight, what I did was I was asking what is needed for our ascension as a collective for whoever shows up here tonight. And we can even ask, and I'll tell you something, which when we have our monthly um, biofield student or grad Zoom meeting, which is next Monday night, I asked my students and grads to say, okay, let's do a clearing for humanity on what we need to ascend. This is why, where this idea came from for me. So they're working on it too. And then we're gonna get together and share what came up. So when we're doing that, we're actually helping to lighten up humanity, but we still can have personal things. We can still have our own personal traumas that need to get cleared. But as we shift and as we integrate those higher states of being, it's so much easier for us. Just like if you're eating really good, healthy, organic food, it's better for you. It's a higher vibration. You know, when you're meditating, when you're using essential oils, when you're having love and compassion for others, when you're doing some of these higher things, you're keeping yourself in a higher state of being, right? You're being in the positive emotions, but we can very easily go below the line into lower emotions where with fear, doubt, blame, judgment, hatred, worry, things like that. You know, when that happens, bye, Kara. She just sent me a thank you. <laughs> you know, um, that can pull us back down. And it's like, okay. And these fears and these stressors and these judgments and old traumas have to be cleared so that they're, they're actually neutralized in a sense. We're not erasing your mind or eliminating. We're neutralizing any of the effect on you so that it no longer keeps showing up, you know? And we can have different layers of it. So it's not like one session, you're gonna be good for the rest of your life and you're great, you know? What happens is like tonight, we cleared a number of things. You're gonna integrate that. You're gonna feel a little shift. You're gonna feel a little better and things might feel wonderful. You might sleep wonderfully tonight. But then once you've integrated that, there might be other things that still come up that need to be addressed, you know, to go deeper or to go higher. That's just the way it is, you know. And, yeah. and I have one other one other question that I was actually I don't mean to take take over this, but one of the, one of the questions I had is that we've 
we recently had a, a, a the death of our son. Uh, oh my! Michael. And I was sit, I've been sitting with a lot of the grief in yeah. my meditation. And um, and actually in the third, it's been about a month now. About last week, I went through kind of soul grieving in my meditation where I'd go, and I and I'd actually wouldn't resist it. I would just sit with it, and then I would allow as I as I breathe through it, I would get into that state of pure awareness mm -hmm. and, and it kind of came to, well seven days straight it went through and then actually i reached out to lana on this and then she actually said and because i was wondering why it's so intense mm -hmm. because i understand that um my son is no longer he's not in the grave he's he's obviously in another dimension somewhere else so i get that but then what happened is um this past week uh, weekend all of a sudden i had this real cramp in my buttocks and in my hamstring and just really uh really painful mm -hmm. and so i was uh like uh so so i was just wondering when when we're when we're doing this kind of work of uh because i was really looking to just feel every emotion and not resist any of the grief at all mm -hmm. um so i was uh, i really felt that i was transmuting a lot of that energy in my meditation by just allowing it to to be yes um but then my body seemed like it just, uh, and it just, and it just, and it just got so tight and I had a hard time even sitting. Um, and uh, so, so my question is, is that um, when we're going through these kind of um, energy releases, I, for me, I kind of see it more like a, more like an alchem, alchemy sort of, right? Because I, I, I'm a coach and I work with energy as well. We mm -hmm. believe in catabolic and anabolic energy. Catabolic more mm -hmm. the, the the kind of the contracted, heavier energy, and anabolic being the the, the lighter, uh, just yeah, the, the growth, healing, all that kind of stuff, right? So I and I and I understand that we don't we can't create or destroy energy. We can transform it or shift it. So when we're shifting energy in our bodies, and and I don't know if that that's what we call clearing. But um, does the body, the, does it happen, like, does, does, does the energy effect happen first and then the body follows? Or is it something that happens at the same time? Um, I'm just wondering if, 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 because of what happened with me, I just actually felt, and I got to the point where I wasn't feeling the grief anymore. But then all of a sudden, the physical part came in. Yeah. Yeah, you had a pain in the butt and difficulty moving forward, stepping forward with the hamstring. You see what I mean? Like that's what the body was feeling, you know? So, and that's a real interesting process because I really believe that everything happens on a soul level first, you know, and then our mental body, emotional body and our physical body, you know, follow in a sense. Um, so, it depends on how you're asking that question too, because I also believe that when you clear all these things from your DNA, you know, these negative patterns and influences, it clears for all the DNA at once in your body. It's not like, okay, I cleared the DNA over here and now it's eventually gonna work down to my legs. You know, it's like, it's like you actually clear it from your, your signature cell, your master gland that created you and your DNA responds. But you also have an energy field, you know, and you have an emotional body. So there's so many things that come into play here, you know. So it's interesting that when you, and it was perfect that you didn't resist feeling that grief. Um, because when we resist feeling something, it keeps showing up, like what you resist persists, right? When you say, okay, I'm just going to let myself feel it and have it and experience it as much as I'm just going to bathe myself in it right now because it feels deep, right? And you let yourself feel that. And then you say, okay, that just takes a lot out of you, doesn't it? You know, but then your body's going, oh, wait a minute. You know, this is, we were feeling it here. And it was, you know, there was that pain in the butt in a sense. And if you think about even the pain in your leg, it's like, sometimes it's so painful to move forward in life, to take a step forward when you're dealing with pain. And it's just like that residual effect. Are you still feeling it? Yeah, but it, it's it's actually gone. the 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 intensity has gone down. Yeah. 
um, two things. I had uh, another friend of mine from the UK did a, something called the Bowen, Bowen, Bowen treatment, mm -hmm. some kind of an energy uh, type of healing long distance. And then I actually went to uh, a chiropractor, one of my clients, and he actually did the physical uh, where he actually got in there and, and actually did the, uh, the kind of trigger release. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so it actually, now I'm able to sit and, and it's, I could still know it's there, but it doesn't have the edge that it had. Like it was, it was, it was a, it was a pain that wasn't going away. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so, so now I just, and even, even today when you were talking, I was just like, Oh, I just, yeah. I just kind of relaxed and, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I, I didn't snore, but I was actually, I felt really relaxed. <laughs> and, and I just kind of felt like, oh, my body was just like, yeah. oh, okay. It's just, it's, it just felt yeah. really nice. And, and for a while there, I was actually feeling really light. And the only other time I felt that was about this time last year, where when I was meditating, I actually had an experience where I was actually um, just outside of my body, but I didn't go, I didn't go like anywhere else. I just kind of knew I was there. And then for about three or four days, I felt really light, like I was mm -hmm. just about to float away. And <laughs> and that's why I kind of recognize that feeling today. I felt that lightness of being. Okay, I'm getting a message for you in a sense, if you want. And what I'm saying, what they're saying is, make sure that you're grounding. Because you're doing a lot of energy work and lightness work and being up here. But make sure you're grounding, like really picture your grounding cord coming through you know, your tailbone, as well as both feet, like, like you're creating roots coming out of both feet and your tailbone, your root chakra into the earth and go as deep as you can possibly go all the way to the core and just spread those roots out where you're totally grounded. Whenever you're doing any kind of this energy work too, you have to make sure you're grounded. When you're connecting with your guides, channeling, doing energy work, make sure you're really well grounded. Is that on a physical that, level or on a like a visualization level? Like am I am I looking? Visualize it. It's also helpful to go outside and walk barefoot on the earth, you know. Yeah. But even still, picturing yourself totally rooting down and grounding, because when you do that and you're transforming a lot of energy, like a lot of this pain, it goes down through the roots to be transformed, kind of by Mother Earth in a sense, you know. But if you're not really grounded and you're up here doing all kinds of energy stuff. It's like it gets stuck in the energy field or in the body sometimes. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to share that because I got this message that said, make sure you're grounding really well. And even transform some of that old pain, allow it to go down. One of the best ways to release a lot of pain and inflammation in your body is to go outside and stand on the ground barefoot because it just drains the inflammation and stuff out of our body very neutralizing we also use a grounding mat on our bed underneath our sheets so that it's grounded to the earth because we are electrical energy beings and yet we're so insulated from the earth like we wear shoes and we drive our cars and you know we don't actually sit on the ground and walk barefoot as much as we should you know but that might be really helpful for you thank you uh, I'll, I'll definitely try that it, it sounds it, it makes a lot of sense to me and being the guy that we're kind of logical but i <laughs> an intuitive sense it really makes sense thank you yeah good well thanks i'm glad you were here i just wanted to see i had a couple of chat things okay so that was great a couple of people had to go which was nice i'm glad you whoops okay what i'm going to do is stop